with MNC Pumps and thank you for joining. And thank you also for viewing our other videos regarding your upgrade advantages when using Aramitsu pumps on your equipment. In this segment, we will review seal and valve service on a 5 series Aramitsu pump. We'll begin with valve service. One tool that's needed to service your valves is a 3 8 drive ratchet with a 6 millimeter Allen head drive. Our first step will be to remove the outer eight bolts on the head assembly. For the purpose of this video, the torque was previously removed from these bolts. Again, remove the outer eight bolts. When servicing the valves or cleaning the valves, this can also easily be done while the pump remains on your pump stand. The head assembly on a 5 series pump is two pieces. All of the porting is on the inner manifold. So again you can keep your pump on the pump stand with all of your plumbing intact to access your valves. After the outer 8 bolts are removed, next we will remove the center 4. The center 4 bolts are longer and extend from the face of the head assembly through the head of the pump and connect to the green crankcase. The outer eight bolts are shorter and extend from the face of the manifold and connect to the inner manifold. Once the center four bolts are removed, we can remove the end cap of the manifold assembly. This will allow access to the inlet valves and the discharge valves. The inlet valves are across the bottom and the discharge valves at the top. Between the two brass plates are three O-rings one around each plunger assembly. Ensure that these three O-rings do not fall or get lost while separating the head assembly. To replace a valve, remove the existing assembly by pulling it from the manifold chamber. The valve assembly consists of a retainer, on the inside is your valve spring, next you have your valve disc, and at the base the valve seat, and around the valve seat is your gasket seal, is a flat gasket which fits snugly around the base of the seat. When installing your new valves, take your new gasket, Install it around the base of this valve seat and position. Next, take your valve assembly, place it into the valve chamber, and with your fingertip, press the gasket in place. In a valve kit, you receive a set of three valves. If replacing both the inlet valves and the discharge valves, 
two valve kits will be necessary. Complete the valve service by placing the manifold cap over the inner manifold. Again, ensure that the three O-rings are correctly positioned in their groove so that they do not become pinched during the reassembly. A light film of grease will be helpful to ensure the valve, uh, the O-rings remain in position. Once the end cap is in place, insert the four center head bolts. Again, the four center ones are longer than the outer bolts. Tighten the four center bolts in a cross pattern. Tighten and torque to approximately 20 foot pounds. After the center four are secure, install the outer eight. Again, in a cross pattern, tighten the outer eight bolts. And torque to 20 foot-pounds. And that completes valve cleaning and service. Next, we will do the seal kit. Tools for the seal kit include a small screwdriver, a reversing plier, and the 3 8 drive ratchet with 6 millimeter Allen head. To access the seals, only the center four bolts need to be removed. The outer eight bolts can remain in place when doing a seal kit. We remove the center four, and then this will allow you to grasp the head assembly and separate the complete assembly from the crankcase of the pump. This will allow you access to your three seal assemblies and each brass retainer. Most times, Seal retainer can be removed by hand if difficult to remove a reversible plier will be helpful. Insert the reverse plier into the seal retainer chamber and while gently rocking side to side pull and remove the seal retainer. Next is the high pressure seal 
and a brass spacer. The final component is a stainless steel wave washer. On the inside of the seal retainer is the low pressure seal. The low pressure seal will have a groove on one side and will be flat on the other. The groove of the low pressure seal faces the same direction as these machine holes. Insert the tip of a screwdriver into the groove of the low pressure seal. Pry inwards. And with your fingertip, complete the removal by pushing the low pressure seal down and through the seal retainer. Here we see the groove on one side and the other side is flat. Next remove the o-ring. From the seal retainer. A seal kit will include the seal retainer o-ring, low pressure seal, high pressure seal, and on some 5 series models an additional backup ring will be included with the high pressure seal. The low pressure seal and high pressure seal look very similar. A distinguishing difference between the two is that the low pressure seal here in my left hand is much softer and more flexible where the high pressure seal is more rigid. Reinstalling your new seals, we will begin with the O-ring. A light film of grease or oil will aid in the installation. Place the O-ring in the groove and position on the seal retainer. Next, take your new low pressure seal with the groove side down. Again, the groove side will face the same direction as these machine holes. Insert the low pressure seal into the groove of the seal retainer and with your fingertips complete the installation by tracing the low pressure seal until it snaps into the groove of the brass retainer. Our next step is to take our stainless steel wave washer, insert it into the seal chamber, followed by this brass support ring. The brass support ring is flat on one side and rounded on the other. Insert into the seal chamber with the flat side down against the wave washer. Next is the high pressure seal. Install with the groove side down and will fit over the brass ring previously installed. Next, complete the assembly by inserting the brass retainer with the low pressure seal and o-ring installed into the manifold and press into place. Follow those same steps for each of the three chambers and that completes your seal assembly. Once complete, take the manifold, place it over the plungers, reinstall and press until it meets the crankcase and reinstall the head bolts. Tighten the head bolts in a cross pattern. Once they are snug, complete the installation by torquing each bolt to approximately 20 foot-pounds.
Thank you very much for joining. Keep in touch to me if you have any questions or my distributors, and also view our other links regarding upgrade advantages to Aramitsu on your equipment. Thank you very much and have a great day.